If there is a silver lining to the rugged weather we have had this winter, it's that lakes, ponds, and backyard rinks all around the state are frozen solid, <laughs> making this the perfect winter for the old tradition of pond hockey. The main pond hockey classic, which will feature teams of all ages from all around the state, is on China Lake this weekend. So, in a moment of insanity, I thought, hey, I have a great idea. I'll lace up and try out my rusty hockey skills. But I tried it with our good friend Bob Marley. This is amazing. You know what's great about pond hockey, in my estimation, is that it costs nothing. You can show up with a bunch of guys, and I don't know what these nets are. They're very small. Um, but you could make it with sticks. We used to use boots. Yeah. And you yeah. just put the boots out there, and um, you know, and you could go out and just play, and it's relatively inexpensive. If this is a main like heritage, right? This is like unbelievable. I mean, this is part of Maine. Like everywhere around the state, you drive and you see ponds and lakes and, or even just like the fire departments will flood areas like down at Baxter Boulevard. You're going down, Shannon. I, I clearly am the weak link here because I haven't skated in a while and I haven't played hockey in a while. But as you said, nobody cares. Yeah, no, no, nobody cares. It's just about having fun, being out here, enjoying the ice and taking advantage of whatever conditions you got. And today we didn't have the best conditions, but you can still hear the kids laughing, having a good time and having fun, so. I'm hoping it just gets people excited about playing hockey outdoors again. Um, we've seen, like, I think we've had a couple of decades where hockey was moving indoors, and now it seems like there's a push to bring hockey outdoors. We're not the only tournament that does this, um, so we're hoping that you know it gets people outside playing on the pond again, and, and not having to just wait till you have rink time to go play. And organized hockey now is forty-two thousand dollars a week. <laughs> And you have to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning right. to get your child out. Right, and you have to drive to Lawrence Mass I, I, with nine I, other families on a bus. <laughs> and she has that. There she goes, deep on the corner. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Sorry. There's no sorries in hockey. There's no... Oh, I almost tripped a six-year-old. Oh. <laughs> I'm all right. You're I'm all right. right. Thank you. Schultz is Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going after you. What do I do? Ah, you don't have to do that. That's not called for, Shannon. Come on, Marley. That's not called for. Buck That's up. illegal in pond hockey. Okay. I don't like it. It's pond hockey. Oh, okay. really? Yeah. You want to go? Yeah, I want to go. Oh, you let's got do it. it. You okay. got it. Let me just. You Irish ladies are tough. <laughs> I'm going to take my time. The biggest thing when we were kids of pond hockey was, this was the only rule, no lifting. Don't lift it. Because when the puck came off the ice, you were going to get hit in the shins. Oh, yeah. Nobody has pads on. And inevitably, someone would always hit you in the shin. And then we'd lose a kid. He'd go home crying. We're like, well, now we're down a guy. You know, <laughs> now what to, are we going to do? Right, we'd have like a triage set up on the side of the thing. We're down to two guys because right. Chucky can't not lift. <laughs> I know there's absolutely, I have showed no evidence of this today, but I actually used to play hockey a lot yes. as a kid growing up. I mean, I always skated, right? Listen, I can see, I, the legs are there. All you got to do is just get back out there. Two or three more years, you'll be back. And then, you, <laughs> if I live that long. Thank you. I don't know if you've heard, we have a new health care plan here at work, and it's not real good, so I would say no more <laughs> pond hockey stories for you. Pat, Pat Callahan was like, we're going to get calls because you didn't wear a helmet during that story. It was so fun, though.